Well, here I am, Martha Stewart of the Camp World. We're at Noganosh Lake, uh, which is actually south of the Pickle River. What? Oh, sorry, Kyla, correct me. We're on Smoky Lake before Noganosh. So you can access this uh, easily through uh, the Pickle uh, River and three portages. I've been going to this area for many years. And I thought I'd take Kyla. And uh, in Preston. Preston with Nancy the dog. Remember that dog with the pink sweater? That's the owner. And we're learning more about him on the trip. Every day we learn more and more. And we find out that he also wears a pink sweater. It's a lay bag. <laughs> it, um, it folds up like a dry bag and you just roll it up so it's nice and compact. Comes up to about like uh, this big. And when you need it, you just unroll it flop it around and uh, take in a bunch of air, it inflates, and uh, you got yourself a camping chair. Kind of looks like a blue banana. <laughs> it looks like a blue banana. <laughs> Just the blue banana. Well, other things, but we can't talk about that. <laughs> so yeah, we, we paddled in here, and Preston paddled solo. I, I, I paddled with Kyla, which is basically paddling solo because she doesn't paddle. I think four or five lakes connected. You got Smoky, Naganosh, John, Mud, I think long, I'm missing one, but they're all connected in this beautiful place. I wanted to show you something. Uh, my buddy, uh, Andy, um, he's he's actually the barrel guy. A lot of people don't know that. I don't tell too many people, but it's just a side business he has. This is his new barrel. Uh, it is um, a smaller barrel, but it's with a flat bottom. And uh, he wanted to give it a try. And so I, I took it out and yeah, love it. Uh, you can do the same thing with a smaller barrel as well. But this fits into my pack really easily. Uh, I wanted to get two of them side by side, but they just don't fit in my Frost River pack. But uh, um, well, anyway, so I put this in and put all the stoves and stuff on the other side of it. I'm blabbing. Why I like about it, yeah, it's a barrel. Everybody knows about barrels. But look at this. Now it becomes a camp chair. And I actually found this thing on a portage up in by James Bay a long time ago. And I thought, what would I ever do that? But I might as well carry it out. Well, look at that. That becomes my chair. And you know why I have to use this as a chair? Because this camp chair here, which is mine, becomes Kyla's because she's the queen. Oh, dad, get me this, get me that. Reel my fish in for me. Oh, where's my craft dinner? Which is what we're making tonight. We're just having a wee dram of whiskey tonight, Kyla and I. And uh, Preston's making really fancy coffee. He's a coffee connoisseur. Smells really good too. What's going on, Preston? Uh, well, I'm making another batch of coffee because that's what you do at what five o'clock? You do. I'm, I do. I have a sip of whiskey going, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's this is my end of the day reward, and uh, I got my uh, my grinder, the burr grinder, fresh beans. Uh, I got a French press over there. Makes for good coffee. So we got good news and bad news. The dog Nancy rolled in some human feces last night before he went to bed with her. And the good news is Kyla did go for her evening poop, but it wasn't hers. So that's the important thing. I feel so bad for her. He was, he was just about to go to bed and then he had to get those towelettes and wipe his dog down. Oh, we got to boil over. Wait a minute. Better not have burned the craft dinner. Did you hear that? You better not have burned the craft dinner. Uh, we usually bring craft dinner for our fish night and we don't have any fish. We caught fish today. Uh, but it was too early in the day and they got a big windstorm, so we're not out there fishing. Oh, yeah, and we met some uh, American guys I knew from the Quiet Water Symposium. And they were catching a lot of big fish. Good guys, uh, a lot of fun. Well, here we are, Kyla. We've met some people from the United States. And you were making fun of their accent, were you? Ah, you know. Oh, what a pop that, eh? <laughs> oh, I, was, I told him one. that. He was like, he was, he was giving his A's. And I'm like, you're going to get, you're going to irritate some Canadians, man. You're going to get in some trouble. <laughs> they had a mishap with the boat. Some young kids, actually. They had to be like nine years old or less driving this boat. And one was five. One was five. And I've never, like, there's boats uh, in this area because there's some hunt camps and stuff. And there's a fly and outpost. But yeah, those kids, I sorry, I don't know them, but they maybe shouldn't have dri been driven that, driving that boat. And they circled those guys and made a bunch of waves. And oh, there was some conflict. There was a little bit of conflict. <laughs> what are you eating? York peppermint patties, but they're all melted. <laughs> were they good? <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. So what happened on the lake today? There was some, there was some conflict. 
Well, there's these boys that I would say were nine and ten and five. Nine and ten-year-olds were actually driving the boat with no parents nearby. And they almost swamped the boat. Like, they were, like, ten feet away from a canoe. Not us, but people that we knew. And um, they were yelling at them, cursing at them. No, it was pretty dangerous, but the, the, I don't know, there was pretty young kids. They are from Ohio. Kyla figured they were from Ohio, because that was the accent they had. The, the kids in the boat, not the Americans yelling at them. All right, I'm not sure what she's saying. She's, she's in the hammock and ordered me to make her craft dinner. We are putting uh, um, hot sausage in there to mix it all up. So it's good. My new camp chair, because Kyla got, has got mine. A little foamy on top. Worth it. That's all I got to say. Preston, you got anything? Nothing. He's got nothing to say. I think he's a little nervous about camping with us now. I think tomorrow we'll wake up and he'll be gone. I'm about to uh, videotape my daughter eating her favorite meal on trip, being craft dinner with dried meat in it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> no. Was it, was it a good meal? No. Was it good? <laughs> 